In this video, we will discuss about a unique plugin which was developed by our expert team for creating 3D RVE of unidirectional fiber reinforced composite materials. This plugin is capable of creating an RVE with high volume fraction up to 80% through combining three fiber placement algorithms. Creating an RVE using embedded region, merge, or voxel based methods. Considering the periodicity of the RVE. Assigning material orientation to the fibers automatically. Creating an RVE with randomly sized fibers. You can use this plugin simply and quickly by only copying downloaded files in the following path. Click the temp folder, which is in C drive, in default. Copy the folder into the Abacus Plugins folder. Now you can use the plugin. Let's see how it works. Don't forget to support our team with like and subscribe. After copying the downloaded plugin files in the temp folder, enter the Abacus software. From the main menu bar, click the plugin command. Then, select the UD3D plugin. There are four tabs, General, Dimensions, Mesh Size, and Advanced. In the Advanced tab, there are settings corresponded to the three fiber placement algorithms. It is recommended to use the default settings. To gain more insight on the settings of the Advanced tab, you can watch our previous video on UD2D plugin. For creating an RVE, in the General tab, enter the fiber volume fraction in this box. Then, you can choose the final fiber volume fraction to be exactly the same as the input fiber volume fraction, or to be closest to the input value, or to be smaller or bigger than the input value. Remember, if you choose exact option, the plugin has the permission to modify the RVE dimension to achieve the input fiber volume fraction. Next, select the type of RVE modeling. For the first example, let's consider merge technique. Enter the model name. Here, you can permit plugin to consider periodicity while creating the RVE. Assign material orientation to the fibers. Import the RVE to assembly module. Create a general static step. Create a job. In the second tab, named as dimensions, enter the size of the matrix and diameter of fibers. Using fibers distance tolerance, you can adjust the distance between fibers. For this example, let's enter 0.04. Remember, this value is multiplied by the fiber diameter. Now, click on the OK button and wait for a moment. You can observe an RVE, which was created using the merge technique. Note that the final fiber volume fraction of the RVE is written in the message area. Now, let's create an RVE of unidirectional composite using embedded region technique. Similarly, first open the plugin interface from the main menu bar. Then, enter a fiber volume fraction. For this example, choose the exact option. Then, choose modeling type as embedded. Enter the model name. For this RVE, we toggle off periodicity option and toggle on other options. In the dimensions tab, enter the size of the matrix and diameter of fibers. In the third tab, named as mesh size. In the lower section, you can request the plugin to generate mesh on fibers. Thus, Toggle on this feature and enter a mesh size. Now, click on the OK button and wait for a moment. You can observe an RVE, which was created using the embedded region technique. In the mesh module, you can see that mesh was generated on fibers. If you want to modify the mesh size of fibers, simply you can select all fibers. Then, select the seed part icon and modify the mesh size. And press the mesh part icon to generate new mesh on fibers.
Now, let's create another RVE using the voxel approach. First, run the plugin from the main menu bar. Then, enter a fiber volume fraction. For this example, let's choose the smaller option. Then, choose modeling type as voxel. Enter the model name, which is model 3. And toggle on all options. In the dimensions tab, enter the size of the matrix and diameter of fibers. In the mesh size tab, in the upper section, you must enter mesh size in the length, height and depth directions, respectively. Use smaller mesh size to obtain an RVE with more refined appearance. Remember, this will affect the computational cost of the simulation. Now, click on the OK button and wait for a few moments. You can observe the created RVE. For more detail, you must enter Mesh Module. Put Color Code dialog as Materials. You can get a detailed view of a voxel-based RVE of unidirectional fiber reinforced composites. The difference between these three techniques and their advantages and disadvantages were fully discussed in our previous video. It will give you an insight on which approach is the most appropriate, based on your need. To continue the simulation process, first you need to enter property module. Properties were already defined and assigned for matrix and fibers by the plugin. You only need to enter values. Fibers were considered as carbon fibers, which are transversely isotropic. Thus, you must enter the properties as engineering constants. Following the SI unit, since the RVE dimensions are in micrometer, modulus values must be entered in gigapascal. Matrix part was considered as epoxy resin with Young's modulus of 4.2 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio of 0.3. In the step module, plugin defined a general static step with time period of 1. In the load module, you can either apply boundary conditions manually or use our recommended periodic boundary condition plugin, which is developed by our expert team. Using this plugin, you can simply generate mesh on parts and apply period boundary condition on all sorts of three-dimensional RVE parts such as tensile or shear in any directions. To get more detailed information on the capability of this useful plugin, you can watch our tutorial video on this plugin. In the interaction module, you can observe the applied PBC formulation. In the mesh module, you can see the part is discretized by appropriate elements. You just have to submit the job to see the results. Now let's see the results for the embedded region technique. and the results for the merge technique. And finally, the results for the voxel approach. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please support our team with like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Don't forget to visit our site for more related products. Have a great time.